had like 20 or 28 uh, complaints or calls saying that I was hunting branched antler bulls out of season with a centerfire rifle. So in Utah, the uh, hunts are drawn. You have to put in for the hunt every year. And I've been putting in for elk, I don't know, 10 or 11 years. And it was a whole lot easier for me to draw a muzzleloader tag than a centerfire rifle tag. So since I've been hunting with SRSs almost exclusively for quite a few years, uh, I got with my buddy at ES Tactical, Eric Smith, and he helped me come up with a design, or he came up with a design to build a 45 caliber muzzleloader using a breech plug from an already existing muzzleloader. So he got the barrel in, uh, threaded it, got it set up. We ordered bullets and using existing components, we were able to build a 45 caliber, no sabo muzzle loader that uh, gave me the ballistics of pretty close to a centerfire rifle. Once I got the muzzle loader, I uh, started shooting it, uh, found that it was very capable of minute of angle out to what I shot at 900 yards. Uh, three shot group at 900 yards is just a hair under nine inches. Uh, started looking for elk up on the Stansbury front range and went out opening morning. We saw a couple smaller bulls, nothing happened there. So went back, had lunch, took a nap and uh, went back out that evening as opening morning. I was uh, short on time. So we were able to see some elk at about 15, 1600 yards and uh, moved in on them. Uh, right before dark, we lost them. Uh, so we were cow calling and my buddy who was hunting with me, Dan, uh, we heard another cow call back and we assumed it was another hunter. But turns out when he said, okay, call it a night or we'll move a little bit closer, we stood up and there's a cow elk staring at us at like 375 yards. So I got back down. Again, I have a 13 pound rifle. Uh, so I got, was able to get into a prone position. The uh, elk walked out and it was a seven by six. Nice, nice little bull, had a devil point on one side. So decided to shoot, it was 360 yards. And with that rifle, I was shooting a 370 grain projectile at 2,600 and change, 2,630, 2,650. Uh, dropped the elk within about 20 yards of where I shot it and went about our business. A few days later, I'm on vacation and I get a call from DWR. Uh, it was a officer with the DWR and he explained to me that he had like 20 or 28 uh, complaints or calls saying that I was hunting branched antler bulls out of season with a centerfire rifle. Uh, obviously I put pictures up of my elk and I was showing off my muzzleloader SRS and uh, I had to call him back once I got home and he did some homework and called people that I know around the county and called the taxidermist who I was hunting with and finally he explained that he wouldn't need to see the rifle. He did the homework on our rifles and saw that they were switch, switch caliber capable. So uh, he let me off and says, if, if anything else comes of it, they'll have to inspect the weapon system. 